everybody and welcome back to Falcon Plays the Rim World. Let me get the game started here. Alrighty, right now we're going to start this episode off by kind of doing like a semi type of uh, quote unquote channel update, I guess. Uh, people like those. Uh, so I've seen with other channels and stuff. People like channel updates and stuff like that. So I'm going to give you kind of a little rundown as to what's going on with the channel, what we're going to be doing in the next, uh, I guess, week, month, etc, etc. Going forward, at least for the meantime. If anything switches up, then I will indeed um, let you guys know. But at least for this episode, there we need to do a little bit of a different thing and do a little bit of channel update. And secondly, if I feel like, if it seems like I'm a bit off today, a little bit rambling, a little bit of uh, out of the loop, it's because I'm kind of really on lack of sleep, so um, I apologize for that. It's kind of like a new recording session, by the way, for those that want to know. A new recording session is today. Um, so far, everybody I think that we've named is pretty much good to go, unless, have I missed anybody? Uh, last two people that we had were uh, Edward and Nathan. Is that the new people that we renamed? I'm pretty sure that's what it was, right? Yeah, him 277. Uh, no, no, wait a minute. We we actually got a few renames. Uh, I am not a people person is now um, I think Julie or Lily or Lowly, one of the other ones. But um, there you go. That's that one of the persons, and then the other person was I believe uh, Shook. All right, so Lowly and Julie were the last people that we got last episode, and then I renamed them over to um, I'm not a people person and Shook. So um. Those are people that I, I think Shook is a chicken gamer or something in the comments and the viewers and stuff like that. So if you ever see him around, there you go. That's Shook right there. And then I'm not a people person goes by that same name. Now, what I'm not a, what I'm not a people person, I did a little different type of thing. Got a big long name, right? I'm not sure if I wanted he wanted to be I'm not a people person name, but that was seems too long, right? So instead, I switched him over to I'm not a because it kind of sounds like a name in reality, though, right? Like I'm not a. And then his character is going to be um, I'm not a people person. So his first name's I'm Nada, his second people, his second, uh, or I guess uh, surname should be people person, and his nickname's gonna be I'm Nada. So, from now on, I'm Nada, that's who you're gonna be. Hopefully you're okay with that, hopefully you are. If not, then okay, well, too bad. Uh, <laughs> so, um, either way, we're gonna extend the defense perimeter over here. I knocked off the walls in the side just because I don't think we need them anymore. And I have a lot more people now that are kind of always shooting and whatnot, so I extended this out over here. And over here, what we're doing is setting up a little bit of a metal wall section. The door should not be there. The door should be right there. Okay. This is kind of tripping me out right now. Uh, so, we're going to do that right there. We're going to have like a... Because obviously, when you have stone walls, apparently you can put a door in its place, which is kind of weird. But that's how exactly that's going to work out. And by the way, can I deconstruct this then? If it's something to deconstruct, then go ahead and deconstruct it. But uh, that's how it's going to work out for now. I'm going to extend that over there. I put a wall... Okay, good. I put a door over here. Remember last time when we tried to burn these bodies, we weren't able to kind of catch on fire all of them? Well, I put a door over here hoping that it would build a roof over it, and that's exactly what happened. So, now that that's actually set up with a roof, let me actually go ahead and deconstruct this now. Kind of a waste of metal, yeah, but at the same time, it kind of closes it over with a roof, so that's good to go. Why is that on fire is the real question, and why is nobody... Why is Ida Bull just walking away from it? Ida Bull, can you actually put that off on fire, man? It'd be kind of good. Oh, you can because it's not at home region. Okay. All of a sudden, Ida Bolt. Nah, I can't. I mean, I know that's a really important property of our base, but I'm not going to actually put that out on fire. So let me go ahead and do that. I guess it's probably in my best interest to... If anything, I should have probably built that one over, or at least built the wall to the left a bit, so we have that little two-paced area. But I guess we don't. So let me just put a little bit of a... Uh, what am I building here? Am I, oh, god damn it! No, I'm building walls again. <laughs> I'm building walls again. I'm building walls to my heart. I don't want anybody to get close to me because uh, I am. I guess I'm very emotional that way. So let me go ahead and put some metal tiles around it. Hopefully that'll kind of dissuade the fire. I'm pretty sure that if anything, it should have been like... Uh, I should have moved that wall a bit to the left. Oh, okay, and we lost the fucking uh, geothermal altogether. Alrighty, well, never mind. Uh, bad call on my part, but that's fine. You know what? At least we can kind of use this to kind of make more metal. So, you know what? Actually losing, um, I guess, uh, buildings and whatnot isn't that big of a deal anymore since at the same time you could actually make uh, metal bars out of these uh, debris. So, let me just go ahead and order this to be hauled off. And we'll just go ahead and rebuild another geothermal. Kind of a waste of metal, yeah, I understand. But at the same time, it's not as big of a deficit as it used to be before, right? So let me just go ahead and get the building going on over here, and that'll be not a launch pad. What am I looking for here? Geothermal, a pumping station, what? Wait a minute. Uh, produces electricity from lava pumped through dug holes in the ground. Needs direct power link. Oh man, this guy is a monster. Oh, actually, it's the same size. It just looks kind of monstrous in this place. All right, actually, let me use this. How about we just use this instead? 
Let's see how that goes about for us. Local boomer has gone man, he's gonna attack anybody that he sees. And he's actually fighting Funky. But Funky, I, I'm kinda really, uh... Funky, I, I, I know that he's gonna do good for us. So Funky's gonna actually fuck that guy up for us. And luckily for him, if he catches fire, it's perfectly fine because it's raining outside. So he'll pretty much put himself out. Uh, so not a really a big deal there. Funky, I really would like you to knock that local boomer right out though. Just so you can kind of, uh... Look, Mangina's on fire now, Funky. I hope you're glad with yourself now. Uh, people put that guy out. I guess the rain will do it. Um, I really should probably go ahead and probably set up a few um, home regions up around this area. Actually, that's already home regioned out, right? Yeah, it totally is. Uh, what's not home region out is this area over here, which I expanded on. So let me go ahead and expand this over to this side. All right, good. All right. And since this local broom is now dead, I guess there's no really reason why we shouldn't pretty much harvest his body for some sort of meat. So, uh... Um, I, I know that sounds kind of sexual in reality, like a really morbid sexuality, but, you know, that's what happens sometimes in RimWorld, man. I mean, these guys are over here just kind of chilling by themselves for a long, long time, so, uh, me love you long time, right? So, let me go ahead and have them build that, okay. And other than that, are we good? Are we doing good so far over here? I think we are. There's a local boom rat over here dead as well. Or, I, I'm saying local just because I assumed that he lived in the area. He probably doesn't. For all I know, he probably doesn't, so, um, he's not local whatsoever. Um, but as, as soon as they kind of get this door out of the way, we'll probably be able to build that door, right? Which would be really important for us to kind of keep raiders out of the hand. Because what happened last time is that I didn't know that you can build doors between stone walls. So, I built the door in my, imagine <laughs> in my imagination. I was kind of like, alright, we're good. Next thing you know, they just kind of, uh, moved in there like nothing. It was kind of like, yeah, here we are. Cool. Um, you know what? I guess a good idea would probably be... It's kind of a pain in the ass for us if you want to go outside. No, no, it's actually the door's right there. I was gonna say, let's build, let's build a little bit of a mode. I guess through here. Why not, though, right? Let me build a mode. Uh, you guys wanna see the mode, right? So I kinda wanna see the mode, too. So let me just build a mode right about there and see how that goes out for us. I wanna see how it looks, too, so uh, I'm kind of interested in that. The bolts over here kinda building that mode for us. And it's, it's almost, oh, there it is. <laughs> it looks kinda pathetic by itself, though. It looks like a little bit of a small puddle. Like, you know, if I, if I, if my villagers were kind of like, or not my villagers, but my colonists were kind of like kids, they'd be over here splashing around that moat. Now, here's the problem with the moat. The moat isn't supposed to be that deep. So, um, because of, uh, mod difficulties so far right now, um, uh, raiders can't actually walk over the moat. See, what I would do is that I would put the moat kind of like a waffle. Like, you know how we use, um, remember like in the old colony, if for those that were on for the old colony, we had the, um, I guess the waffle entrance, where we had a bunch of sandbags at the entrance, so the raiders would kind of like really walk through them really slowly and whatnot. If they would build a moat that way, it would kind of work out perfectly, because, um, you know, they could get over a moat. A moat's not supposed to be deep. I'm not sure how familiar you guys are with moats. I'm pretty familiar with them, because I live in the city and I know all about moats, apparently. Uh, <laughs> it, it, they're supposed to be kind of relatively easy to walk by, but unfortunately right now how it works out is the raiders have to go all the way around them, so... um. I'm gonna put that right there just for our safety, though. And how is this pumping station going on? Pretty good. By the way, let me go ahead and, uh, I thought I set all this other stuff to be hauled off, so let me go ahead and do this. Now, I like how I said I started this episode off by saying we're gonna do a channel update, and I haven't talked anything about the channel update, so I apologize for that. Let me just get rid of these, uh, signs over here. Solar flare? Yeah, that's what's gonna happen, unfortunately. Go away! And the next thing, raiders are landing nearby. Okay, how many raiders? Not that many. Apparently they brought a muffalo with them, so, you know, good for them. It's more meat for us, right? Uh, I'm gonna try to avoid saying no, but that's, that's what she said joke on that one, but... Alrighty, good. So we're good. Right now we have a solar flare, though, so unfortunately all of our things are gonna be off-powered. Meaning all of our amazing turrets are gonna be off-powered, too. But I guess we'll be, we'll be able to kind of deal with it for so far. Um, by the way, let's see, is there anything else that we need to mine out for for now? I don't think there is. Uh, they're still working on these rooms on the left side here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I knocked the powers off on this area over here, which they're now powerless. Let me actually go ahead and build myself a little bit of a red standing lamp over here. So, basically, what I've done is that, uh, or what I've decided is that it's going to be the, uh, complete red light district. So, even a few of you early guys are going to be part, uh, that's probably not the area that I wanted that to be built on, by the way. Uh, even a few of you guys that were probably not involved with the Red Light District are now going to be involved just by nature. So, you know, you have Urbo, you have Moldat, and you have uh, Punisher to thank for that. They've kind of uh, brought Ryan, Key, Ida Bolt, and Swaggier into this, so, um, or the Swag is, I should say. So, they're going to be pretty much the uh, really perverted people of our base. Over here, we have the blue section. The blue section, I figured, is going to be kind of like a, a ward in a sense, where it's going to be like really depressed people and whatnot. And then over on this side, I'm going to do the green standing lamps, right? Um, 
Now, here's the thing. I'm not entirely sure if green is even any better because, um, I'm not sure if you guys were around for this, but there was a little time where, um, apparently green m and stand uh, stood for, uh, you know, people being sexually aroused, quote-unquote. Uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> don't quote me on that. That was just a big, uh, thing. It was kind of like growing up. Like, apparently, Mountain Dew, uh, the Yellow 5, I believe that's what the chemical was in, uh, Mountain Dew. Is that even properly placed? It is absolutely not properly placed. I apologize. Again, I told you, I, I'm really on lack of sleep right now, so if I'm babbling a bit, I apologize for my incoherency right now, but hopefully this comes out to a degree where you kind of understand it. Um, let's, let's put that right there. Let's put a potted plant. I'll, I'll get to the channel update, believe me. <laughs> a few of you guys are like, you know, what's channel update, Falcon? You never follow up on your promises. Well, you know what, Mom? You never follow up on my college tuition. That's why I'm doing this for a living now. Or, <laughs> I'm not really particularly. I'm, uh, pulling a 9 to 5 out of retail for a living. But that's another thing altogether. Thanks, Mom. Uh, green standing lamp. Let me... I can't put that up yet because I don't have the actual connection to it yet. So I, I got to go to structures and power conduit for that. Because we don't have the power conduits running down through here just yet. So let me go ahead and build this down through here, at least for now. And then we'll put one right there at the entrance. Put another one right there at the entrance. Boom and boom. And we do need doors over here. So obviously, uh, I don't think we have that many people just yet for all these rooms, right? But at the same time, it's kind of like if I have them built already, ready to go... Once the people do come around, then we'll be pretty much set up right there. So that's pretty much my train of thought right there. Oh, god damn it. Forgot that. We're actually moving upwards, too. Uh, moving on up to the east side. I never really understood that. I mean, I figure moving on up to the east side, wouldn't it be like moving on up to the north side of anything? Like, if you're moving up. I mean, if you're going east, you're kind of going, like, uh, I guess parallel to where you should be really aiming to be at and whatnot. So I'm going to put that right there and that right there. Right, good. And I guess since we can right now, we might as well put the power of the plant potteds right there. Or the potted plants right there, I should say. Plant potteds. Again, I apologize. I haven't slept in a while. Unfortunately, it's kind of one of my uh, hindrances in life. But either way, alright, channel update. As Dave go ahead and build that and we get ready for this uh, raider assault over here. These raiders have absolutely no chance, by the way. Uh, channel update. What are we doing? Well, okay. Uh, one of the series is kind of being ixnate, at least for now. I'm kind of cutting it at the throat right now. Um, Banished. If you guys were around for the Banished series, then um, I, I really had high hopes for it. I honestly did. Uh, unfortunately, after I played it for a while, I figured it's really not much for me to actually... Holy shit. Raiders? Um, what happened to the warning signals? Is my volume too low? I guess I didn't hear it. All right, let me actually... <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck me, man. All right, yeah, let me... Guys, uh, everybody that's uh, mining and doing their thing, we're going to have to stop for a second here. Uh, I'm trying to actually choose Funky here to be... Alright, let me just use I'm not. A... There we go. Militarize everybody and everybody get your asses uh, back behind the wall for sure. Now, my turrets are going to not be a, a problem right now because they're offline. Let me turn them offline in hopes that they are online now, or at least, uh, at least through the battery power, but I I'm pretty sure that we had a, a solar flare. Oh, no, no, they're good. They're good. All right, so they actually went through that wall quite easily, so that's actually pretty terrifying. Uh, so, Guinea. Guinea, you know, let me have you hook up right there, bro, and, uh, Ricky, Desmond, you can kind of hang out right there. Ryan, with your Glock 19 still, let me have you move over there. And Nathan, the technician, has a pretty good weapon now. Let's actually test that out. Let me move you up to the forward spot here. And Key, the chef, let me, I guess, hook you up right about there. Mangina, pretty good weapon on you. Let me move you forward. Swaggiest individual of all time. Let me move you over there. Batman, what are you up to? Laser gun, let me move you through there. Punisher, right about through there, man. And I'm not a quack. Uh, you have a shotgun, so let me get you up close and personal. Jeff, good weapon. Move you over there. Funky, what are you up to, man? Funky, you need to get into his position over here, man. Uh, item Bolt's kind of hanging out over here with his Glock 19. You move to the side, I guess, for now. And him too. Him 277. He's a wild card. Let me move you over there. I mean, we'll be okay. I mean, I have no really problems. Oh, they're going to actually jack up my one of my improvised turrets, unfortunately. This one's about to go down, too. But I still have high hopes as to what we're going to do here. AD-98. This guy is a wild card. Let me move you somewhere in here so you're not shooting our people. Uh, here's the thing with American Devil Dog 98. He kind of takes his shots at anybody who's around. I mean, he doesn't. He's not a people person whatsoever. Eduard Rosenberg, one of my newer guys. Let me. I guess Eduard Rosenberg, you move and hang out uh, through there. What do we have now? What is this? A local 
Boom Rat has gone mad. All right, good. He's over there. Hey, you want to fight this fucking uh, Raiders Forest and go right on ahead, man. All right, so um, obviously we are jacking these people up regardless of which. I mean, uh, yeah, sure, they took one of my turrets, but that's not a big deal considering look at their the chaos, the chaos over here. They're fleeing now. They're kind of like, you know, fuck that shit, man. And uh, dude with the spiky mohawk, I would actually like to cut this guy. I, I kind of really want to get a guy with a mohawk, and I, I absolutely can't. Like, you know, this fucking punker. This motherfucking punking man, he just keeps running away all the time. Um, this guy is pretty much saying fuck you to all this, too. So, alrighty, good. Um, really good successful raid. So, if that's the case, then let me just go ahead and... Gino, what are you doing back here, Gino? Oh, Gino wasn't even militarized, was he? No, he wasn't. It's kind of like, hey, guys, what's going on over here? It's like, Gino, you just missed a fucking uh, raid attack on us. Same with Krebs, man. Alright, so you guys go ahead and unmilitarize, and then you guys over here unmilitarize. Alrighty, good. Everybody up to running. Yada, yada, yada. Holy shit, why is that on fire? Oh, that was the boom rat that we just killed. So somebody put that fire out because I do want to catch some of these weapons before they actually burn up, so... Um, what are you guys doing? You're building that, okay, alright. At least fixing it, I should say. Alright, so overall, pretty good. That was actually a really good, um, raid. In terms of, uh, at least defending it. Obviously we didn't catch anybody, which is always bad. Considering I'm trying to get a lot of you guys involved in this. Like, my, my weightless has ballooned up quite a bit. Like, I had a few, I had a recording session yesterday, and I recorded probably five episodes. And, uh, in that, I actually caught a lot of new people, and I, I renamed a lot of people. And I was like, alright, cool, we're gonna actually go through this waitlist pretty quickly. And then next thing you know, it was kind of like, oh shit, I'm up to like 55 people waiting on the waitlist. So, um, if you guys are coming in later and asking for me to add you, I will add you to the waitlist still. But, just realize it doesn't take a bit longer, just because, uh... <laughs> A lot of people are asking to be added, and that's cool. I'll add everybody involved. I mean, I don't really give a shit about that. I, I'd, I like to get everybody involved, unfortunately. It doesn't work that way. I mean, I could get all of you guys involved instantly right now. Like, I could probably, you know, find a mod that gets me, like, 175 people in my colony. But at the same time, that would kind of ruin the experience in a sense. Like, it would probably make it so that, uh, the game is a little bit too easy. So, uh, I really don't want to go down that route. Uh, security, let me go ahead and put an improvised turret over here just because they're a little bit weaker than the energy turret. I kind of want to still give the raiders a chance, so, you know, like, I, I don't want to be, like, completely OP, Rumble over here just kind of hanging out and waiting day to day, like, you know, just get rid of the raiders that easily. I don't want it to work that way, man. So, let me see. Haul things. Is there anything else we could haul over? We could haul this off. Anything else? That's pretty much about it, right? Yeah. All right, good. And one of the moons. Yeah, Eclipse. Yeah, exactly. All right, good. So, if you guys have stuck around this long now, which is almost by the end of the episode, um, in terms of what we're doing for the channel, let me keep this in real time just to actually get a little bit of a talk in here. Um, Banished is gonna be pretty much, uh, cut at the throat for now. Oh, by the way, look at these rooms, man! Look at all of this red light district, blue light district, apparently. These are the sexual deviants. Down over here we have the really, apparently, depressed people, which is Batman, which makes perfect sense. Jeffrey Wilson, Guinea, Mangina. I'm not a people person. All these people, just really, uh, depressed. And then we have the, uh, the green people, which is, uh, I never finished the story, did I? Apparently, when I was growing up, green, the green Skittle, the green M&M meant, uh, I don't know, kind of like a Viagra of sorts. Apparently, green makes people really excited, so, uh, apparently, um, the green area and the red area have something in common. But either way, uh, channel update in terms of what we're doing. Banish is kind of going away, so if you're a fan of the Banish series, I apologize, I have to take a little break from it, unfortunately. Um, number one, it really doesn't really attract too much uh, attention in the series and the channel whatsoever. And secondly, it's just kind of really harder to actually produce something for it, just because a lot of the uh, episodes kind of have to do with the same thing, me just trying to survive with little things. At least RimWorld kind of gives a little bit of a thing where it's kind of like, yeah, I could do a little bit of battling occasionally. But um, that's the reason why Banish is kind of going away for a little bit of a while. Probably for a long time, who knows. Um, Craft the World, almost there, um, if you guys are fans of the Craft the World series. I've been having a lot of issues with it, I've been getting a lot of good advice recently, though, in terms of making it better for myself, but, um, at the same time, it's kind of like, eh, you know, I, it's feel like I've, I, I've had my, my time with the dwarves, and the dwarves don't like me, I don't like the dwarves, so it's kind of like a, she said, he said that type of thing, where we kind of both hate each other, so, because of that, probably... Going away with uh, Craft the World. What we're keeping around is uh, Neo Scavenger. So if you're a fan of Neo Scavenger, don't worry, that's not going anywhere. Uh, Rim World's not going anywhere. And Magicide, I do kind of want to get that up and running soon enough. But it depends on how much free time I have left. Because obviously, Dark Souls 2 is about to release. I'm going to actually really cover Dark Souls 2 completely. So um, in a few days, whenever it does release, I think it's probably like a week from now or something. I will be playing um, Dark Souls religiously. 
Or Dark Souls 2 religiously, anyway. So if you're a fan of that, cool. Come and check it out. If you're not, then I apologize, but I... Dark Souls is kind of like one of my top five games of all time, so I kind of really have to cover number five. That's kind of the reason why I've been waiting around for it so long now. So I will be covering that. We'll be continuing with RimWorld and Neil Scavenger. Craft the World is kind of on the fence right now. Kind of like this over here. A local boomer has gone mad. Apparently all the boom rats in the world are going mad right now. So yeah, um, that's basically what I wanted to get you guys through this. Um, I apologize I've been rambling on and on or kind of uh, losing track of what I've been trying to say. Unfortunately, I've been a little bit, uh, again, sleep deprived today. So I'm a little bit not all there right now. But I'm going to continue doing a few more episodes. We didn't catch anybody today, which is unfortunate because I like to rename a lot of the viewers into the colony as soon as possible. But we didn't catch anybody today, so we have to wait around for the next episode. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, I encourage you to click the thumbs up button. The support really does mean a lot. Other than that, I will catch you next time.